Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using SARS e-filing. So in my first tutorial I basically showed you how to register for SARS e-filing and today we're just going to look at how to update your details for SARS e-filing. Let's assume you've logged into your e-filing profile. On yours it will be slightly different but so you wouldn't you would go to you wouldn't go to user or organizations you would go to user and there's a section called SARS register details and then we go to maintain SARS register details and go I agree and continue usually this takes a bit longer to load up but uh, don't worry about that I just need to run my flash So you're going to go to user, source register details, maintain source register details. I agree and continue. Okay, so once it's loaded up, you'll see your RAVA1. And whether you use a practitioner profile or whether you use an individual taxpayer profile or organization taxpayer profile, all the RAVA1 forms will look the same. Um, for your individuals, um, your individual profile specifically. So the way to update your details is you would see this form and sometimes it's blank or sometimes there's information missing. So you would need to go to edit and then you'll see that You'll see your tax number in the top right hand corner. Your ID number will also be grayed out. You can't update that on e-filing. If your ID number is wrong, you need to update that at SARS. Now, I can, I can easily edit my home telephone number, but I don't have one, so we're not gonna do that. In cell phone number, you're gonna put, punch in your cell phone number, mine is 072-716-3703. Click OK and it updates. Um, I don't have a fax number and then business telephone number. You can actually take this out by just clicking OK. If you don't have one, just click OK. And then also your email address. You can add it anker at live.co.za. Anker at live.co.za and click OK. And that's how you update your cell phone number, business cell phone number, and email address. On the second page, uh, the address details are grayed out. You would need to create a new address if you want to change it. So if it's, say for example, 8 uh, Collings Road. This is in Worcestershire, Cape Town. It's also 7530. So that's how you would change it. Now, if I want to change it back to my actual address, I would go select from my addresses. I'm going to choose the one, three Valchemy and this one there. And click OK. And it changes it back. And also your postal address. Um, if it's not your physical address, you can actually go, is this your, let me just enlarge this so you can see. Is this your post? Is your postal address the street address? And you can tick no. It is a PO box, or it's a private bag. And then you will need to put in a number. So it could be PO box four three two zero three, and then whatever it is. But mine is my home address, so I just tick yes. And then I select from addresses, and I go to the one on top. Click OK. I can zoom out and done. So when you do it this way, it doesn't, you can, you can actually double check what you've done. On the left hand side, you'll see there's a few tabs, my addresses, you'll see there's the one that I've added to the Collings Road. So I can actually delete, so you can delete any addresses that shouldn't be here. So I'm going to go do that now. Delete, okay. I'm going to delete this one and click okay and this one and click okay 
The one I'm not going to click is the one that says registered details physical. I'm not going to delete that one. And then I can just, you can also add your new address here, but it's, I find it's just easy to do it on the other one and then click file. And wait. Okay. And now we can go to bank accounts. The next one. Uh, okay. <laughs> So you actually don't have to click file after you've updated any, you can just click save and then you can file once you've made all your changes. So let's go to the next one, bank accounts. Make sure that there's one bank account, unless you have more than one um, tax type, you don't want to have more than one bank account because that can create issues with uh, refunds that pays out. So you want to make sure that your status is valid. If it's not valid, you may have to update your banking details at SARS. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to add your bank account. So you just go to add new bank account. And then in here, you'll put in your account number, check savings or transmission. And then here you can select your bank account type that you use and click OK. So Bank of Athens branch name and then once you've added it I'm, I'm not going to add it right now because I don't have one so I'm just going to go cancel it will show up here and it will show processing so that that's what will what will show if you've done it correctly you can also go to contact numbers to see what contact numbers is old what can you remove so I'm just going to remove all the business stuff and numbers that I don't use. The last one is email addresses. I'm going to delete the ones that I'm not using. Trading names is not applicable for individuals. Um, unless you're a sole proprietor, you can put in your trading name, but it's not going to make a difference really. The last and final check that you want to do is you want to go to my tax products and revenue and income tax and go into this tax reference number here. Income tax active, you wanna go in there. And then you just wanna check all your details and what, what that check does, the My Tax Products, is to show that your, your bank account details are reflecting on your tax profile. The, the, the bank account you can add there, but you need to make sure that it's valid on this page as well. And you can click done. So once you've made all your changes, I'm not going to go into the representatives and those things because um, that's not applicable uh, to, to you. The, the, the only ones that's going to be applicable is the income tax and all the others. Once you've done all this, you can, uh, you can go and file this. Once you file it, you'll show, uh, SARS will say that you've, thank you, that you've submitted your details of SARS. And that's it. That's as easy as it is. Um, the last and final check that you want to do is, uh, if you don't see your tax number under my tax products, or you've had some problems getting to that point of the RAVA1, you will need to actually go to your organization and go to organization tax types and just make sure that your tax number shows successfully activated. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Please leave a like. Um, I don't know how this works. Uh, subscribe. Um, I'll definitely roll out more videos. And sorry for the very long wait for this one. Cheers.